Beloved friends, welcome to PMC English. We are traveling in the path of Dhammapada and also understanding the Buddha and his philosophy. If you implement at least 20-30% of Buddha's wisdom in your life, then naturally you will attain enlightenment within one year. Why? Because in Buddha's period, so many people have attained the Buddhahood and they have attained the enlightenment in the seven days also. How it is possible to attain the this nirvanic state in seven days? We have uh, so many examples. Actually, what is meditation? Meditation is nothing but sitting silently, doing nothing. Spring comes on its own, grass grows itself. What is the state of meditation? What happens when you sit silently and doing nothing? A person from birth to the graveyard from the mother's womb and to the funeral pyre from morning to evening he will do something some karmas some work with senses body mind heart and in so many ways he can't sit ideal some work is happening some karma is happening inside and outside and this is the routine life everybody is leading in the world but what is the state of meditation meditation is nothing but non doing state you have to stop all the functions inside and outside then naturally meditativeness will come what happens when you stop all the functions you will enter into your innermost core you will cross the your physical body and you will cross your mind and also heart emotions feelings and also a time will come you will cross your breath also then naturally you will enter into your consciousness what is the goal of a spiritual journey and what is the goal of a meditation means you have to enter into your consciousness you have to know the original face what is your original face not this face daily you are seeing in a mirror this is not the original face it is the mask it is the mask to your original face so you have to explore your inner consciousness within yourself that is the essence of spirituality and that is the essence of spiritualism then why the meditativeness the meditative state had become so hard to the practitioners of meditation why they are taking long time to attain that uh, state what is the problem that was creating in their path and what are the hurdles they are facing to attain that state here sitting silently and idly it is not a easy way why because from childhood they are habituated for doing something 24 hours so you have to break your routine 
you have to break your your habit pattern you have to change your thinking pattern and you have to stop all the actions bodily mindfully and with heart emotions and everything what happens when you stop all these things naturally you will see the silence state within you in that silence in that calmness you will witness your own consciousness when you reach that state naturally you will attain the enlightenment so uh, that is the goal of meditation so when you uh, achieve that uh, meditative state within short period then next uh, stage you will enter into the uh, samadhi and naturally uh, one day you will reach the state of nirvana so in buddha's period so many people have attained that state in his presence so today we are going to discuss a small story of a businessman who had attained the meditativeness within 7 days how he had attained the meditativeness within 7 days so today we will discuss when buddha was residing in the jetwan vihar and giving his sermons daily morning and evening one day a business person he was at a very young age i mean at 25 years he was a famous businessman in those days in that uh, city what happens once when he was uh, gone for the business work uh, to purchase some items to do the business so on the way he will crossing that uh, jetwan vihar and carrying all uh, that items and the things to the business center on the bullock carts so when he was traveling in front of this uh, vihar he had uh, uh, listened to the words of uh, buddha and he went to listen that words into the vihar so he had uh, sat in the satsang and listening to the buddha and he had forgotten himself and his work completely that uh, i want to go to a business center to do the business and uh, some people are waiting for me he had forgotten all those things and just he was uh, engaged in listening to the voice of buddha after a long time after half an hour one hour the people who are waiting for this person they have came into the that vihar and uh, they have asked the person why you are not coming and this is the time for business um when you sit here we will lost that uh, business time and we have brought uh, so many things to sell that this is not the right time to do the meditation and sit here they will tell like that so this person will say that no i won't come so i don't want any business i don't want any money you take all that uh, things use that and uh, you take over my business and i don't come do whatever you want you have that freedom he will say like that after listening these words this persons are shocked what happened to this person 
he was completely surrender to the buddha at that time so he had forgotten all the things within fraction of seconds he had left everything that family business societal attractions and uh, so many negative elements all he had left behind and he was completely surrendered himself to the buddha and to the sangha and the dharma so that people had uh, left that place and they went away so how this person has done the sadhana and practice in these seven days what he had achieved in the presence of buddha how he had attained the meditativeness and shrotapan state during this seven days the whole day he used to listen to the buddha's words buddha's voice and his wisdom and uh, after that he was uh, doing his work in the vihar and uh, sharing his efforts in every work and in the night he used to sleep near to the cottage of the buddha so this is his routine work just he is listening and he was uh, doing his work uh, totally in awareness alertness and he learned to live in the present moment and do the work in the present moment and he has forgotten all the past and the future completely he had become stable in the present moment he had left all his past and he is not thinking about the future just he was settled in that uh, uh, present moment so um, during this seven days he was practicing like that morning uh, listening to the buddha and uh, he was he was practicing while doing the work that is uh, work meditation and whenever he gets time he used to sit silently doing nothing and in the night he used to sleep in the near to the cottage of the buddha and this has became his daily routine work what miracle had happened to him during this 7 days he was not even practiced the meditation also then how he had attained the meditativeness there are so many uh, techniques in meditation i mean that anapanasati vipassana and uh, so many techniques are there kundalini so many techniques are there but the technique is not the meditation these techniques this is the procedure whether it is anapanasati or vipassana whatever it may be it is the procedure to enter into that meditativeness and what is that meditativeness sitting silently doing nothing in that situation what happens you will simply cross the seven layers within yourself and you will enter into your consciousness that will happen and after that when you enter into your consciousness when you become one with your life force life energy then naturally you will attain the shrotapan state so this is what happened to that person so don't addict to the techniques technique will help you to stable your body mind and heart then the technique will end 
what happens when the body mind heart will become stable then naturally you will enter into the meditativeness you will enter into the no mind state you will enter into the purified state silent state in that silence whatever is happens it will happens on its own and your work is just become witness and when you become witness everything will happen on its own and you will realize yourself and one day you will attain that state so whatever you are doing do it with total awareness alertness with consciousness so most of the meditators will they will meditate only for 2 hours and within these 2 hours also they don't get the no mind state long time only hardly 10 minutes 15 minutes they will attain that uh, uh, no mind state that too in the middle they will get uh, fluctuations mind body fluctuations and they will go uh, with the fluctuations of body and mind and then they will come back uh, to the breath and this will happen like that but continuously without gap and uh, without any uh, hindrance they don't get the silent state so this person had completely come out of his past and also he had stop thinking about the future then naturally what is the uh, base of the mind to live in this world mind will exist in two extremities the one is past and the other is future what happens uh, when mind reside in the present moment it will die there is no existence of the mind in the present moment mind needs past or future as a base but when you live in the present moment naturally the mind will not exist this is what happened to that person so within this 7 days he had attained that uh, shrotapan state and also after that a sudden incident will happen that that person will die within this 7 days before his death he has attained the shrotapan state what is the meaning of uh, shrotapan he had enter into the path of this enlightenment this meditativeness and he had gone in search of his original nature and original form and his uh, existence so uh, when they travel in the path of uh, this uh, nirvana they will enter into their original nature so that original nature we we call it as shrotapan they have entered into the flow of that uh, meditativeness then one day they will enter into the path of samadhi and also they will enter into the nirvanic state this person had achieved that uh, shrotapan state within this 7 days what miracle had happened to him so when we see the the sadhana the practice of that person he will attain that state while living in the present moment 
he had chosen one technique that you should live the in the present moment live moment to moment forget the past and forget the future live in the present moment living in the present moment itself is meditation so he had practiced that living in the present moment living moment to moment during this 7 days so that is the reason why he had attained that meditativeness unfortunately he had left his body after attaining that uh, state so the buddha will declare that he had attained the state of shrotapan the many uh, monks and mystics in the buddha's period and the disciples of the buddha had become shocked while listening this news how it has happened we are practicing uh, it from so many years and why we have not attained that and why that person has attained that uh, state what is the difference between uh, uh, we and uh, that person so then the buddha will say he had completely left over his past by body mind heart feelings emotions and everything he had became discontinuity with the past and he had stopped thinking about the future and he had completely dedicated himself to me and surrendered to me that is the reason why he had attained that state and he has dedicated himself to this uh, dharma to the buddha and the sangha so he had attained that state this is not a miracle every person can attain that state that is in your hands your commitment your surrenderness and your dedication and devotion will help you to travel in this path so that is the reason why so many uh, people in this world are traveling in the path of enlightenment in the path of meditation but how many people are achieving that state we can count on fingertips why uh, the majority people are not attaining that state what is the reason behind it why because they don't become detached from their past and they will cling to the future they won't live their life in the present moment there is this is the main drawback of uh, every meditator in the world so if 1 lakh people will travel in the path of spirituality only one person will achieve that uh, goal what happening to the remaining people they are just practicing meditation they are only the practicing 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 but not reaching any goal why because they don't have that dedication that commitment that surrenderness and they don't have that zeal to attain that state in this life only why because the human life is precious we have came here by facing so many hurdles and miserable conditions in different lives and we have attained it uh, this state after attaining uh, this uh, human life after getting this human life uh, there is a little bit chance to know about the path of truth and path of dhamma so if you have entered into the path of dhamma and you have uh, gone to a master or a enlightened mystic if you have all achieved that then what the next step you have to do you have to enter into the path of salvation and liberation but that is not happening just they are wearing mask as a meditators or a spiritualist but they are not really spiritual persons or really they are meditators just they are acting in front of this society 
but that is not the way so if you want to achieve that uh, nirvanic state it, within this life you have to grow according to the laws of nature according to the five elements so when you uh, attain that state what happens your five elements i mean fire water sky earth and also air these five elements when get purified your body will get purified and the second one is mind when your thoughts thinking perceptions your vision will get purified then the mind will get purification then uh, when you come to this uh, heart i mean emotions feelings when these are get uh, these are purified your heart will get purified then naturally slowly slowly uh, you will uh, your life energy will also get purified life energy is nothing but the breath when this will get purified then naturally you will enter into the this uh, consciousness this is the way to attain that uh, state that is the reason why uh, many people they are not understanding the meditation they are not practicing it very well by because when we are traveling in the spirituality first of all you have to understand the way you have to understand the philosophy you have to understand the knack of meditation you have to understand the you know, main uh, hindrances which are coming in your path then you will see the miracles in this way so this person had attained that uh, state with the commitment surrenderness and also dedication and he had became discontinuity with his past and he had not clinging to the future and he has learned the art of living in the present moment and moment to moment and whatever he was doing he used to do in the present moment so that is the miracle that had happened within this 7 uh, days that he had attained that shrotapan state so everybody can attain it that is not the greatest thing so the human life has came you have entered into the path of spirituality and you have got a master and you you have got the guidance also then your work is to just practice it and also live moment to moment live in the present moment and understand the technique and understand the state of meditativeness then naturally you will also attain that shrotapan state and you will enter into your original phase so friends understand this and go according to the laws of nature live in the present moment be in meditativeness in 24 hours not only uh, sitting silently closing guys that is that is not only a meditation it's a simple part but day to day routine life you will do your work open while opening eyes so while doing the work also you should be in meditativeness in awareness in witnessing state so you can attain this uh, meditativeness within 24 hours also so uh, this is the way the buddha had uh, uh, given his blessings to that person uh, that he had left his body and he had declared that this person had at- attained that shrotapan state so friends understand this and uh, do practice the meditation with dedication surrenderness and also with commitment you will also achieve this type of state within this 7 days thank you so much mm-hmm.